Everyone, welcome to the show. I have an update to share about one of Trump's capital insurrectionists. It's time for an episode of Where Are They Now? Was arrested. Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. So 57-year-old Virginia resident Robert Packer is one of the most notorious January 6th defendants. He was infamously seen in photos and videos inside the Capitol wearing a sweatshirt that said Camp Auschwitz. That was on the front of the sweatshirt. And then on the back, it said staff. And the prosecutor revealed that underneath that sweatshirt, Packer was wearing a shirt that read Schautstaffel. That is literally the SS, meaning Nazis. And when Packer was asked about why he was wearing that sweatshirt, Packer replied, quote, because I was cold. So prosecutors say he entered the building only six minutes after the first breach was made. He made it all the way to the speaker's lobby, in fact, and he was only several feet away from Ashley Babbitt when she was shot. And only after she was shot did Packer then leave the building. And Packer has quite an extensive history with the law. I know you guys are so shocked to hear that. He's been convicted 21 times and he's been charged with all sorts of crimes on top of that, including assault and battery, driving under the influence, misdemeanor larceny, forging public records and probation violations, you know, on top of many, many more. So Packer was arrested on January 13th of last year for January 6th, and he was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct and one count of parading in a capital. Packer pleaded guilty to the parading charge in January of this year, and he was looking at up to six months in jail, five years of probation, and 5,000 in fines. Although the prosecutor requested only 75 days in jail, three years of probation, 60 hours of community service, and a $500 restitution fee. The prosecutor told the judge that he definitely deserved some time behind bars due to the fact that he admitted to hearing the Capitol alarms he saw tear gas, he saw broken glass on the ground, and Packer was present when the mob was taking violent action against officers, but yet he chose to stay in the building. They also told the judge, you know, he added to the mob, he helped to overwhelm and outnumber the police, uh, but most importantly, the prosecutor cited his lack of remorse and the fact that the only regret that he expressed was about what had happened to him as a result of his actions. Yet Packer's attorney argued for leniency and they said, you know, a sentence of probation and restitution only is what's called for since Packer wasn't violent. He wasn't destructive on January 6th. Um, the defense attorney also noted that Packer has already experienced some form of punishment. He told the judge, quote, his own son will not talk to him to this day because of their strong political disagreements, and he lost his employment as a pipe fitter at a good company because of his presence at the Capitol on January 6th. And Packer's attorney said that he is offended by being called a white supremacist in the media. You know, maybe when you wear a sweatshirt mocking the murder of six million human beings, people might have an opinion. People might have a problem with that. He has the right to wear it under our Constitution, under our you know First Amendment rights. He absolutely has the right to wear it. But guess what? We all have a right to judge him for it. And his employer does too. And we can make assumptions. That is our right to make assumptions about his lack of humanity. So deal with it. So anyway, U.S. District Judge Carl Nichols presided over Packer's case, and he noted Packer's criminal history in issuing his ruling, of course, and he told Packer that although his actions weren't as bad as others, his behavior, quote, wasn't innocuous. And then the judge also stated that although it's Packer's First Amendment right to wear his sweatshirt, as I said, 
Packer's sweatshirt was, quote, incredibly offensive. And he pointed out, quote, it seems to me that he wore that sweatshirt for a reason. We don't know what the reason was because Mr. Packer hasn't told us. So evidently, Nichols asked him about the sweatshirt and Packer refused to provide any kind of logical explanation. Unfortunately, Nichols is one of a few Trump appointed judges who wrongfully believes that they can't impose a split sentence, meaning jail time and probation. They think, unfortunately, that it has to be one or the other. So the judge opted for a sentence of 75 days behind bars and only a $500 restitution fee. So while I'm happy that for once Nichols actually gave a jail sentence instead of just probation, which is what he's been doing, he could have also given him community service. He could have given him a fine. 75 days is not going to deter someone with more than 20 convictions under his belt. Call me crazy, but I don't think it's going to do it. It's weak sauce. So this is pathetic for somebody with this kind of criminal history. He absolutely should have gotten the full six months. Anyway, guys, when I hear more about this great guy, because you know we are going to hear more about him eventually, I will let you know. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care and I'll talk with you soon. <laughs>